Hey guys, it's Sam and this is my October book haul. And this video is being sponsored by Campfire Blaze. I will talk about them more a little bit later, but you will want to pay attention to that, especially if you're a writer participating in NaNoWriMo this next coming month. So I only have a few books for this month, which is again great because I keep mentioning like I got so many books for my birthday that I don't need to be getting any more like before Christmas time and things. So it's been good. I was actually shocked at how few I do have. So the first book I was sent from Big Honcho Media and this is Broken Wish by Julie C. Dow. Now this is interesting because this series, The Mirror, is kind of a series, kind of like a four-part novel. Basically Disney is launching this new kind of like series story that is a brand new fairy tale and these four authors who are all women of color are writing books for this, all center on the same family during different time periods in different places. So really cool. The marketing for this has been really cool too. The box that I got sent, usually I don't care about that kind of stuff, but this box you had to read things about the book with a mirror that they sent you and things and the covers are really pretty. It's just a very interesting concept. I know that Disney adults are a thing, but the idea of just this new fairy tale that is spanning over like four books, so it's like a generational story mixed with like Disney fairy tale stuff, seems really fun. This book is set in Germany in 1865 and follows our main character Elva and she has powers of visions and other mysterious powers and she knows what that means here being a witch. This is actually taking place during the Grimm brothers, like the fairy tales, the Grimm brothers. It's taking place during their lifetime and in the area that they were. So that's a like a little interesting tidbit as well. But she needs to find the source of these powers and things and she discovers that she's somehow connected to the like North Witch of the Woods and so she has to track her down. Witches, Woods, Germany, grim fairy tales. All of this really speaks to me. If you guys have followed me at all, you know that one of my top places I want to travel to is the Black Forest in Germany. I don't know if that's close to this location, but I wouldn't be shocked. So this sounds very cool. Next, Elle Crate reached out and asked me if I wanted to receive one of their special editions they were coming out with. It was for a book that I was very highly anticipating, and that is A Deadly Education by Naomi Novik. This is a book that I already have read and finished. It was our House Salt book club pick for this month. So actually, as of today, later on today, our live show will be happening and you will get all my thoughts on it. But since this is a book haul, I'm not going to mention that. But there's a lot going on with this book, so just wait until we talk about it in the live show. But this is the first book in an adult fantasy series taking place in a magical school that is is very deadly, like more deadly than the most extreme version of Hogwarts, and we're following our main character as she's trying to navigate this and just survive the school year. More on that later, and in my wrap-up for this month. But this edition is very pretty and has like the gilded edges, has the bookmark, and the end papers especially is very stunning and is signed. Most people really appreciate any of the special edition book boxes, so I'm sure it's not a huge shock that this is gorgeous. <laughs> and before we move on to the next books, I do want to talk about Campfire Blaze, which is the sponsor of today's video. Campfire Blaze is a browser-based suite of tools to help you keep your writing organized. Features include a word processor, character sheets, timelines, locations, maps, relationships, character arcs, encyclopedias, magic languages. So you can develop your manuscript in Blaze's word processor, create characters, design your plot, and world build without any restrictions. Your story are private and no one can access them unless you give them access. You can also collaborate with friends in real time or by yourself to flesh out every facet of your story. You can expand on Blaze's free version by purchasing the tools you need and own them forever. You can also build your own subscription so you're only paying for the features that you do need. You can build your own subscription for as little as 50 cents or as much as a few dollars. This is fantastic for people that are participating in NaNoWriMo this month or for like D&D or RPG players that are building a whole world for a campaign. There's also a 30-day money-back guarantee so if it doesn't work out for you, that's okay. Also, if you use Campfire Blaze to write 50,000 words during NaNoWriMo, submit to their contest for a chance to win $3,000 in self-publishing aid. Check out the link in the description for more details. And lastly, we have this month's Owl Crate box. So as you guys know, I'm an Owl Crate affiliate, so I do have a code down below that you guys can use for a percent off your box, but I don't receive any kind of financial compensation for that code. They just sent me the boxes to unbox, and I deeply appreciate it. So I'm pretty sure this month's theme was like something with legends. Yes, this is this month's card. So yeah, it's Legends and Lore. Legends and Lore, let's see. So right here at the top, it's a little bookish bowl cozy. Smart for soup. So yeah, if you have a hot bowl, you can put it in your bowl cozy, which is delightful. And it's just, you know, like sun, moon, stars, clouds, really pretty. I mean, like this is very much something that I would like. Cute. It's one of those things that like you see it in a store and like you wouldn't buy it necessarily, but like having it makes me really happy. And there's something that smells in this box, like tea or something, eucalyptus, I don't know, it's coming. This is, ooh, this might be what it is. 
Solstasia Festival Owl Creek Exclusive Plant Based Soap Bar from Motherland Essentials. What's Solstasia? Oh, from A Song of Race and Ruin, which I haven't read yet, but I think I'm gonna read in November. Love me a good plant based soap. Ooh. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. 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 Mm. Mm hmm. That's delightful. So these scents, I'm gonna use this for like. Probably like ritual showers or something. It almost has like a eucalyptus smell to it. I like that. Okay, this says, no matter where we are, we'll always share the same sky. We can always find each other in the same constellation. Bamboo phone tablet stand inspired by Star Touch Queen by Rashi Chakshi. This is designed by Lady Chubb Letters. Ooh. Ooh. Let's just show me a dream unrealized. Instructions. No, there's not. I mean, it's probably not that hard, Samantha, come on. Is this it? That doesn't seem correct. Is this it? This should be it, right? And then like the hole for like a charger or something is right there, right? Right? And then you can put your phone on it. Cute! I've literally never seen these phone stands, but it doesn't mean that it's not adorable. And I could probably use this when I'm doing like lives and stuff so that I don't have to set it up on something weird anymore. Ooh, another thing. So this is everything always seems sweeter in the minutes before darkness descends. Wind chimes inspired by woven by moonlight designed by Team Alcrate. I love a good wind chime. I love a good wind chime. Oh, thank God. Yes. Yes. So, like, they've really been hitting me with the um, moon stuff, the constellation shit. Okay, how do I, how do I, okay. Very tangly. However, I don't know if you can see. Okay, okay, how do I, how do I do it? How do I do it? This will eventually be untangled, but it's a wind chime. I, mean, I don't want to show you it not in its perfection, but I think it's gonna take me a second to like really untangle these. Okay, anyway, it's a wind chime with the moon and stars and sound like this, like wind chimes are good for sound cleansing a room. We love to see it funny because I've been looking for a wind chime for when I move and now I like don't even need to. I might paint the wood on this one, but like, <laughs> perfect. Thank you, all Craig, for making me not have to purchase something. Then I don't want an easy life. I want a meaningful one. Glass nail file with carrying case from Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Egan. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. Nice. Fire in, fear out is also inscribed on it. These nail files are the best. Get yourself a glass nail file if you don't have one. And then there's a little coupon code for Libro FM, which is an audiobook. Um, I think it's like, yeah, monthly membership or pay as you go, audiobook and membership gifts. So you can get audiobooks through your local independent bookstore instead of through like Amazon. So I think when my Audible subscription runs out because I was gifted that by my parents last year that I will switch over to Libro because I've been hearing good things about it. And then they have a little exclusive sneak peek of We Free the Stars from Hafsa Faisal and this is one of my anticipated books coming out. I will not read this sampler because I don't read samplers but that reminded me that this is coming out like soon. Oh this makes sense. I've been seeing this around. This is Legendborn by Tracy Dion and this is apparently a modern day twist on the Arthurian legend. It's about a black teenage girl who discovers a historically white magic society while she is studying for like pre-college and I'm sure she gets like pulled into all of that and she's gonna be like a chosen one you know so this sounds really intriguing I've been seeing the cover around but I have not really heard much about it so Arthurian legend I have yet to read like a really good Arthurian legend like retelling or like a twist on it or anything so this intrigues me for sure. And then this month's pin is obviously inspired by the book it says when the shadows rise so will the light Love that imagery, it sounds very Star Wars. And then this month's little newsletter includes like interviews with everybody involved and different, uh, the two different covers and things, the Owl Crate cover versus the regular. And then next month's theme for the November box is Growing Wild. This year, Owl Crate has really put out some boxes that speak to me. It says every November box will include exclusive reading planner designed in collaboration with Blue Star Press. They are coming out with reading planners like every year, so this is gonna be like this year's reading planner. Growing Wild, what book is coming out that's nature-y? I don't know, but I'm excited. So that is it for my October book haul. Comment down below and let me know if you've read any of these books and what you've thought of them. And also definitely check out Campfire Blaze if you are a writer or if you're a D&D &D DM or anything like that. If you think it can help you in any way, definitely check it out. So thank you all for watching and I'll see all of you guys soon. Bye.